Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create two different styles of CSS only loading spinners. Okay, so these two designs right here are very easy to create, which means you can quite simply take this code and use it in your own projects or websites. So let's have a look now at how to of course create what we're seeing right here. Okay, so the first step here is going to be to create a new div with a class of loading. So this right here is actually going to be um, the usage of the spinner. So basically, wherever you want a loading spinner on your page, you're going to include this div right here. And the idea is we're going to use CSS to, of course, make the spinner visible and working. Okay, so with that being said, let's now go inside the CSS and target the class of loading. Okay, so now essentially this div is going to be the container for the actual spinner. Okay, so that being said, let's go up here and we can say display and make this flex. And also we can say justify content and make this center. So the reason for these two properties right here is it's going to allow us to center the spinner inside the container. Okay, so how do we do the actual spinner itself? Well, we're going to be using CSS pseudo elements. Okay, so let's go down here and we can quite simply just say loading, then uh, colon, colon, after. So um, if you're not too familiar with CSS pseudo elements, essentially this right here is creating a virtual element in CSS. It's going to behave in terms of styling very similar to uh, HTML elements. Okay, so right here we can say content equal to empty string. This right here is a requirement in order to make it get displayed. And then we can say width of something like 50px. We can then say a height of the same thing, 50px. And lastly, we can just say background and set this to be something like red. So now saving this is going to give us this right here in the browser. As we can see, uh, upon inspecting this element, we can see we have right here the loading div container. And inside there we have the horizontally centered, um, you know, red square. Okay, so now Let's apply a few borders to this square to eventually convert it into a circle. So inside here, we can just say um, border and set this to be something like 10px and then we can just say solid and then something like triple D. So this right here is going to specify the width of your loader or your loading spinner border. Okay, so now if I then say border top color and make this something like uh, 009579, we can save this and of course we get something like this in the browser. So now we can see how it's going to work. Obviously, we're now going to turn this into a circle and then spin it around. So let's go inside here and we can say border dash radius is going to be 50% to of course convert that into a circle and there we go. So now, of course, if you want an extra side for your circle, you can quite easily just say, for example, border bottom color to give you something like this. It's going to be totally up to you. So now I'll just remove uh, this one right here to, of course, go back to what we had earlier. So now let's make this thing spin around. So we're going to be doing this using our uh, keyframes. OK, so right down here. We can just say at keyframes and we can call this uh, we can call these keyframes right here loading. Okay, and then we can specify a few properties. So in this case right here, it's going to be really straightforward. We can just say two and then we can say transform. Then we can just say rotate and then one turn. So now the animation is going to simply rotate or turn the, um, the actual circle um, one whole turn. So now let's apply this animation by going inside the loading uh, class and we can say right down here animation and we can simply just say loading then one second as the duration and then we can say linear for the blend mode and then we can say right here infinite so it runs uh, continuously. So now saving this right here is going to give us something like this. Okay, so obviously it's looking quite nice, but like I said, you can change a few things around. For example, you can say uh, transparent as the actual background color for the, um, for the border. So now we get something like this. 
Uh, you can also, of course, like I, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can simply uh, copy this and make, you know, um, also the border bottom as the same thing, giving us something like this. It's going to be totally up to you. Um, you can also change the duration or even um, the actual blend mode. So for example, we can say ease right here to give a different effect. It's going to be, like I said, up to you how you want to uh, make this thing look and feel. So now, before moving on to uh, the second style, let's create a different or slightly different version of this right here. So let's just say, for example, I've got the actual loading spinner inside a parent container. So for example, let's go inside here and we can say div and let's imagine this right here is loading, um, loading search results. Okay, so as an example, so we can put this inside here and then we can specify inside the div, we can say style and let's make this a width of, let's just do 200 px, uh, same for the height and also we can say border, let's do 3 px solid and then black. So now saving this gives us something like this. So in this case right here, I want the actual loading spinner to be in the center of this uh, container. So to achieve that, let's add a separate class to the actual loader or the loading spinner. We can say loading dash dash full dash height. So now let's copy this right here and we can go up into the CSS and we can apply or target this, uh, this class and we can say quite simply inside here um, and align items of center alongside a height of 100%. So this right here is going to vertically and horizontally align the actual loading spinner. So that is the alternative if you want this particular use case. So now let's move on to the second style. It's gonna be really straightforward. We're gonna simply replace a few of these. So we're gonna replace all of, the, um, all of the borders right here with simply just a background of something like 009579 and then we can also specify um, an opacity of 0.5. So now of course we're going to begin with something like this. So now it's going to be quite simple. Let's go inside the actual keyframes and we can change a few things down here. So let's change this to be 2 then opacity equal to 1 to of course bring the color back into the loader and also we can say transform and make this scale and then 1.75 to of course increase the size of the actual circle. So now saving this gives us this right here. As we can see, it is still a bit choppy. So to fix that, we're gonna make the animation run back and forth. So let's go inside the animation uh, property right here and we can just say right down here, alternate. Okay, so now um, we may as well also change this to be you know what, let's, let's leave that my mistake. Let's leave that as it is. Let's save this and we get something like this right here. So of course we have the nice animation, but of course it's a bit, it's a bit long. So let's make the duration here uh, 0.3 and I find this works quite nicely. So let's save this and we get something like this. So like I mentioned earlier, um, you can of course change these things right here. Maybe you can have, you know, a different, uh, you know, a different kind of style going on, different opacities whatever you want to do. Um, you can even, like I mentioned, play with the blend mode, make this ease in, ease out, or whatever you want to do. Uh, find one, which of course uh, suits your needs and you know does what you want. So that right there is how to create a CSS only loading spinner. Um, I'll be leaving all of the code right here in the description below for you to download and of course check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.